Um, General Campbell, there was a question to you about China. You're talking about communities and alliances, but China continues to act unilaterally. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Uh, look, if I hadn't been clear earlier, uh, Australia is uh, very alert to issues such as the South China Sea's security concerns. We don't support unilateral action in the South China Sea. We've made that very clear. We support negotiated settlements, but we support those nations who are claimant states engaging, finding peaceful resolution. We acknowledge and uh, recognise the Arbitral Commission decision in regard to the status of uh, those features. We don't like militarisation. We've made it consistently clear, not just to China, but to regional partners uh, year on, year off. I don't think there's been any question that where your question was about unilateral action. I think you were referring to unilateral action that is understood to be outside of this, what we call broadly the rules-based order. We do not support that. And we uh, think that the right thing to do is to reinforce an international rules-based order that is understood by the community of nations that works to support that community of nations. Otherwise, you see circumstances such as the second or third speaker was raising with regard to concerns over militarization, potential for incidents leading to escalation and so forth. Those are not areas that we wish to see um, nations proceed down. And that's why uh, that broad rubric of the work in, within international order is much preferred over unilateral action by any and all. Thank you.